Today's video shows how to cut the fiber optic fabric, sew and connect with the electronic control system while making a DIY creation using fiber optic fabric. First, we must define fiber optic fabrics and the light emitting mechanism of fiber optic fabrics. Fiber optic fabrics are fabrics made by adding light guiding fibers, plastic optical fibers, as weft threads or warp threads in the fabric weaving according to the process methods. The light emitting mechanism of this type of fabric is that the light guiding fibers in the fiber optic fabrics are bundled and coupled with the LED light source. As to intelligently control the light emitting and color change through the electronic chip, enabling the fabrics can achieve the effect of light emitting and color change. The fiber optic fabric is now visible in the corner of Lumi Sawada's workshop. In present days, this kind of fabric is generally woven. Different methods and different widths are used in various products. This fabric has a common feature as seen in the video. One or both ends of the fabric have a segment of light guiding fibers that are not interwoven with the warp. Before using the fabric, workers will carefully comb these light guiding fibers out and bundle the optical fibers. After bundling, use the heat cutter to cut the fiber bundles. Then apply the heat shrink tube and coupling buckle and fix it with a heat blower. When the fiber bundles of the whole fabric have been processed, we can connect the LED light for the light test. Connecting the fiber bundles and the LED is the most challenging part of this phase. In response to this problem, the Lumi Sawada team devised an optimization strategy, unlocked the coupling mold, and screwed the LED light and the fiber bundles together as easily as tightening a screw. The fiber optic fabrics purchased are generally bundled with fibers and coupled with LED lights because it is very convenient. Next, we are about to cut the fabrics. It's necessary to cut the fiber optic fabrics into a single layer and a single piece. Unlike common fabrics, they can't be cut by stacking many layers. Prior to cutting, we must draw the template graphics of the product to be made on the fabrics and then cut according to the marks of the graphics. It should be noted that there will be some complex graphics in this stage as our DIY creations are complex and diverse. There will also be irregular graphics in addition to squares, rectangles, triangles, trapezoids, and circles. Here we have made a schematic diagram. We must ensure that the light guiding fibers in the fabrics won't be interrupted when we do work. This must be considered when cutting because the light of fiber optic fabrics is caused by the light guide fibers in the fabrics. Only when the light of the LED is introduced into the fabrics through the light guiding fibers can it emit light. After cutting the fiber optic fabrics, we need to carry out the sewing process. First, adjust the angling pressure of the sewing machine to the lightest. Change the pressure angle to fine lines or plastic angle. Reduce the sewing speed appropriately and change the sewing needle gauge to size 12 or 14. These adjustments prevent the plastic optical fiber in the fiber optic fabrics from being crushed. After sewing the optic fiber fabrics, all that is left is to tighten the fiber bundle and the LED coupling. Then deal with other common production steps of DIY procedures and connect the controller to execute the photometric test so that we have completed all the processes of DIY creation with fiber optic fabrics. Finally, we will introduce fiber optic fabric packaging and folding methods. Different processes are used for fiber optic fabrics. 
While some can be machine washed with ordinary washing machines, others are easy to break the optical fibers in the fabrics. So we use foam sticks for protection when packing the fiber optic fabrics. Well, that's all for today's video, I suppose. Please send us a message if you still have questions, and we will reply to you as soon as possible.